loves, thank you so much for spending time with me today. First of all, I would love to acknowledge the fact that there are over 600 of us on this tiny little community we have over here on YouTube. Now, not that it's like this crazy like number or anything, it's just a cool feeling that I just wanted to acknowledge. But now I do want to go ahead and go into my sales on Poshmark, specifically in the month of February in 2023. As always, I have my phone. I'm just going to be pulling up the sales and kind of talking through where I got the pieces from and then how much they sold for. I will also do kind of an overlay of pictures to show you what they look like and you can also kind of peek at the description and the title that I had for each piece. So the first sale I had was actually a bundle. Now in this bundle the first thing was an Ann Taylor Loft blue floral blouse. This came from some donated inventory that I got from one person. If you haven't been here for a while this will be maybe your first time hearing this. If you've been here you know, anytime I have loft, it is almost always from that donated inventory. I have been working with someone for well over a year now, and every time they clean out their closet, they call me up, I go pick up a, a huge haul and make money off of it. So this piece, this loft piece, was one of those pieces that was donated. The second piece in this bundle was an Orlane Women's Beach cover-up. This was an Amazon piece. I got a Amazon palette from Quick Clats more than a year ago, like almost two years ago. At this point, my cost of goods was 50 cents and I you know, almost five times my money on that palette at this point. This particular piece sold for $18, but it was in the bundle and there was a shipping discount on it as well. So those two pieces together, I got $10.05. But again, one was free, one was a 50 cent cost of goods, but I made so much money on that palette, it almost feels like it's free at this point. I don't think Quick Clots has that palette anymore. Quick Clots has kind of made a little bit of a turn in their journey that they are, you know, making more of their own sales now, but at the time of getting this, they were pretty big into palettes and then also their like mystery fashion boxes as well. This next piece also came from that Amazon palette. This was an Under Armour mock neck long sleeve shirt. This sold for $10, no shipping discount, so that can be $7.05 a profit. Again, my cost of goods on that was about 50 cents. Moving on to February 4th, I sold a pair of Nine West pants, like dress pants. These came from a Thread Up Rescue box with a cost of goods of roughly $2, just under $2 in reality. They sold for $8, no shipping discount, so that gave me $5.05 of profit, and then of course, having to take that approximately $2 cost of goods out of it. Now I am somebody that doesn't look at my profit per item piece by piece by piece. I just pay attention to how much I spend per month and then how much I make per month and make sure that obviously how much I make is more than how much I spend. There's a lot of people that look item by item by item. As I'm getting higher uh, ASP prices, I'm starting to pay attention to what's selling, but this stuff that I have just hanging out in my closet, in my storage, I'm really just trying to get out and I'm not trying to really focus on what's selling because I know I'm not going to be researching to pick up these pieces anymore. So it kind of depends on your own process. If you want to pick up other pieces that are going to be making money, yes, you want to look piece by piece. But if you're just trying to get rid of stuff, I don't know. That's how I do it. I don't look piece by piece. I just make sure that I'm making a profit. This next piece that sold actually sold two Squishmallows in one bundle because one of these pieces is a little bit more exclusive and hard to find than the other and I thought maybe pairing them together would help move a sale a little bit quicker. It seemed like all the listings that I was looking at to compare to kind of thought the same thing as well. So this was a Pikachu and Ginger Squishmallow pair. These were the smaller size. They were $16 each. Together they sold for $63. 
and there was no shipping discount so that gave me fifty dollars and forty cents and then having to pay out the thirty two dollars to my mom because this did come from my mom she uh, kind of she works in targets and different things and she spends a lot of time paying attention to what resellers are picking up in retail arbitrage and then she will just take pictures and say hey go ahead and put this up really quick and I do and she does all the shipping all of the thinking and processing through it so it's a pretty cool you know deal it works out for me I primarily just focus on clothes but you know when things like this come through and she sends me things I am happy to make money off of it this next piece came from a flip lot I do have a couple of flip lots that I'm working with and this one was a spiritual gangster cropped shirt this sold for $18 with no shipping discount. That gave me $14.40 of profit. And then I did have to split approximately 50% with the client as well. You know, Flip is, is good because you, if things don't sell, you can just go ahead and send them right back. Sometimes people want them donated. So it's, it's really a low cost of goods or, I don't know, free inventory if you think about it. But you do end up having to pay out so it's almost like you still have a cost of goods but if it doesn't sell you don't have to eat the cost so if you are somebody who's just getting started and you don't have a lot of money to start up I do recommend checking out flip I do have a link in the description that's not what this is about though but you you can get some inventory and kind of think outside the box if you are just starting up. This next piece that sold came from that free inventory that was donated. This was an Athleta Gray uh, dress. This sold for $35. There was no shipping discount, so that gave me $28 of complete profit in my pocket because it was free. Now this next piece also came from my mom, so it was retail arbitrage. It was the 20 inch same characters, the Pokemon Squishmallows, the Gen Gengar, Ginger, I think is what it was, and Pikachu. These sold for $152. Mm, let me check how much, what my cost of goods on that was. Let me check. So these were $46 each that I ended up paying out to my mom um so let's do some quick math 46 times 2 is 92 i paid out to my mom the after platform fees i got 121.60 so i didn't make a killing on those but i definitely made money and i really didn't do any work i just put the pictures up found a description from an item that sold similar and you know it was really about oh one minute worth of work. This next sale was for St. Patrick's Day without a doubt. Even the buyer did provide some feedback, like a five star feedback and said, I appreciate it's just as described. I can't wait to wear it on St. Patrick's Day. So with that said, both pieces are green here in this bundle. The first one was a loft lime green tank top. This of course came from the free inventory. The other piece was a baseball cap that said smart, good looking Irish. That came from the Amazon palette that my cost of goods was about 50 cents. So together, these sold for $20 was my profit on those and they were things out of my house that I wasn't gonna use, I was just gonna make money off of. This next piece came from a thread up rescue box with a cost of goods of roughly two dollars as I said before this was a J Jill linen shirt it sold for $15 with no shipping discount so that gave me $12 of profit and then taking out my approximate two dollar cost of goods this next sale comes with a little bit of a story I in the month of February, January, and quite honestly, uh, been until this point in March, I've been a little bit lazy in reselling, and I've only been shipping a couple of times a week, and I really haven't listed anything new. I've just been kind of on autopilot. In January, I was out of town like every weekend, and I went on a week-long cruise as well, so I didn't do anything then. In February, I just hadn't gotten back into things to be completely honest I 
you know, was doing other things. I really don't have an excuse other than, you know, this is a part-time gig and it's extra money and I'm not really dependent on it. So if I'm not making money, it's my own fault. And, you know, I'm okay with that. But the story with this one is it was actually accepted and I, I got a five-star rating. Uh, so I was, you know, wasn't really paying attention. I was just, okay, it's accepted, five-star rating. Well, a week later, the buyer reached out and said, um, are you going to ship this item? And I said, it was accepted, and I got a rating. Like, I thought it was some kind of, they were trying to play a scam or something. And their response was like, you know, first, you know that you did not send this. I accidentally accepted the piece thinking that it was another order. And I was like, oh, no, whoops. I didn't realize that I sent it. When I went to do my shipping and I saw that it was already accepted, I legitimately thought that I shipped it out. So at that time, I apologized and I said, okay, I'm going to get a new label because the label wasn't showing on the screen anymore. I did end up having to go to my email, which I don't usually do. I usually just re-download it again. And I sent it out. But I really wasn't worried about the sale, to be honest. That's probably why I didn't even realize that I sent it because... These Gap Shorts sold for a whopping $5 with a shipping discount. So after platform fees, I got mm, 33 cents from them. Now these did come from the free inventory, the person that I got clothes donated from. But 33 cents, uh, yeah, I'm sure you can agree with me that you wouldn't be worried about that sale either. We are now on February 19th. On this date, I sold a pair of Everlane black pants. These came from a flip flop that I bought out with a cost of goods of $4. These sold for $32 with no shipping discount. That gave me $25.60 of profit. So, you know, that was over $20 of profit for hardly any work. Again, Reselling really isn't that difficult. Buy low, sell high, make money. Also on the 19th, I sold a Loft Woman's Pink Blouse. This came, of course, from the free inventory. It sold for $24 with no shipping discount. That gave me $19.20 of profit. Now on February 22nd, I sold another piece from a flip flop that I bought out, but my cost of goods on this one was $2.00. Primarily because most of the stuff, actually all of the stuff in the lot was either damaged or really, really used. So normally I start my cost of goods as, as $4 when I buy out a lot. But if it's not good stuff, I bump it down to 2 sometimes 3 depending on the pieces. But I know for sure I got these shoes for $2. These were a pair of Guess Espadrille lace-up suede shoes. They ended up selling for $20 with no shipping discount. That gave me $16 after platform fees and then $14 after taking out that $2 cost of goods. This next piece is another one from a flip lot. It was a pair of men's jeans, 8, 7, 32 jeans. These were damaged on the bottom. There was a bunch of like dragging marks and quite honestly holes. So I was a little bit weary about these selling and I was a little bit nervous that something was going to go wrong and they didn't realize the damage. It wasn't in the description. It wasn't the pictures. But you know when there's always when there's damage, you're always just a little bit worried that people are going to open a case. They didn't in this in this case. They did provide a, a five star rating. These did though sell for $32 with no shipping discount. That gave me $25.60 of profit. And then because they were from a flip flat, I did have to split approximately 50% on those profits. This next one also came from a flip flat, but one that I bought out for a $4 cost of goods. It was an all in favor uh, pink dress. This ended up selling for $15 with no shipping discount. So that gave me $12 of profit and then taking out that approximate, or that not approximate, the $4 cost of goods. And the 26th, another sale from Flip Flats. This was a bundle from two different Flip Flats, both the one with the cost of goods of $4 and one with the cost of goods of $3, so $7 total. The first piece was in Articles of Society jeans. These were size 26. 
The next piece was Rag and Bone uh, Capri White Pants. They were also size 26. You know, go figure. Somebody getting a bundle the same size. It makes sense. Together, these ended up selling for $16 profit. Another bundle. Wow, this month was really full of bundles. Like I said, I like doing these videos because it provides a time for reflection for me. Had I not been making this video, I wouldn't have realized that, you know, bundle seems to be where it, it's at at this time. All three pieces in this bundle did come from the donated inventory, so this is all profit to me. I don't know what I did in life to be blessed by this person who just keeps giving me clothes, but I am happily accepting it and continuing to build this relationship with this person. The first piece was a loft pink crochet top. The next one was a Michael Michael Kors dress. It was almost like a cover-up type deal with like a chain on, on the top and it was kind of flowy. The last piece was also Michael Michael Kors. It was a white off-the-shoulder blouse. The first two pieces were new with tag. The Michael Michael Kors dress cover-up situation was basically brand new. Like all of these clothes that I'm getting from this person either have their tags on them or she took really good care. She dry cleans everything or just keeps everything in excellent condition. So I was pretty excited to see that come through. I'm sure that, that the buyer was excited because they did get things at a discount. Together I made $46.08 on this bundle. This next piece to sell is the, I think the third one that sold. I have five of them, so I have two more left. This was a Lovetex Home Easter Basket. It was a white one. This one sold for $13 with no shipping discount. That gave $10.05 a profit. This came from a Quick Lots General Merchandise half pallet. This next piece to sell is actually a piece that I couldn't find and I had to cancel the sale. I know I have this pair of pants somewhere in my bins, but I can't find it. Uh, I have a number system. I have everything in chronological order. It just, this pair of pants was not where it was supposed to be. Sometimes if that happens, you know, I'll check back on my sold listings on all the platforms to see if I just accidentally forgot to delist it when it did sell. It, I didn't sell this pair of pants before. It was an Athleta pair of pants. Pretty sure these came from a flip lot. Um, the Athleta pants sold for $27, so it would have been a pretty good sale, but I had to cancel. That's just the reality of things. Now, I could have went through every single bin looking piece by piece by piece to try to find it. That's probably what I should have done, but I did it. Uh, like I said, I've kind of just have been pretty lazy about reselling lately and I instead chose to cancel the sale. Now, had this been on eBay when it really matters when you cancel a sale, I may have looked a little bit harder, but on Poshmark there doesn't seem to be much of a penalty if you cancel a sale, so I felt bad. I The buyer wasn't able to get their pants, but in terms of the algorithm, I don't think it has a huge impact on whether I am seen as a top seller or not. So I canceled. I did look, you know, multiple times to think it was like number 969 or something like that. I did check to see if maybe I put those numbers out of order when I put it on my spreadsheet to see if it was like 669 or 696. Like I tried all the different combinations of numbers to see 
if I could find it and I, I couldn't so I just went ahead and canceled the sale so that was my last sale in February specifically to Poshmark now I of course I'm gonna go over my eBay sales which I had roughly 30 sales on eBay and I of course am going to go over my Mercari sales at this point if you're not yet subscribed and you want to continue on this journey with me now's the time to hit that subscribe button if you're already subscribed thank you as I expressed in my opening it really is kind of a cool feeling to have this little community here on the internet as always if this video was helpful to you in any way hit the like button that allows my videos to be you know shown on your homepage and the homepage of others and it allows us to continue to learn and grow together